Well, back and better than ever. Once again, it's the CSC Challenger Series brought to you by Partners Promoting Darts. Also, a little side piece, USA Darts, of course, bringing some streaming coverage as well. William Stewart here, per usual, alongside me, Mr. Boom Man, Sean Green. How's it going, buddy? Oh, man, what is up? Welcome back to the CSC Challenger Series. I've missed you, bud. It's been way too long. Uh... I'm excited to get this thing on the road. We got the fire season, it looks like. How about that? Yeah, some some great graphics from uh, Nick the Chair in the background. Kudos to him for his hard work, uh, due diligence on that. We're excited for another season here. We've got some more players added to the mix here in Division One, Division Two. We've had some matches already underway. Now it's time for the real thing. Mike Maloney versus Donald Spencer. What do you say? Yeah, if you've never watched before, let's go over the format and specific rules for the CSC Challenger Series. It is a double elimination style tournament. Players play a race to nine, best of 17 legs, all cricket with a cork or three dart count up to start the match. The loser of the previous leg will start the next leg after that. If either player is down three or more legs, they will continue to go first until the deficit is reduced to two. That is the PPD player advantage rule. Uh, if we go the distance, the players will cork to start the last leg decider. And, uh, buddy, Division One is stacked with some players. You want to look that over? Yeah, they've got some great players in the mix right now. We'll start at the very top here as we've got uh, Jeff Maduna, who's already through on a bye. Our match tonight, Mike Maloney and Donald Spencer, and then Sean Kathlish taking on Austin Braswell. I believe that match is concluding as we speak, if not already concluded. And, of course, Johnny Lackey taking on Jamie Kopp. And then another Houston match underneath that between a Wisconsinite. Who we got there? Yeah, that's Ram Gravera and Kevin Schmitz. That's, uh, those are two very top dogs. That's going to be a good one. And then Gabe Steffen with Todd Wigman right underneath that. That's a couple of Wisconsinites. Well, actually, no. Uh, Gabe is from Idaho. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. Oh, man. Yeah. I know there's an Idaho in, in here somewhere. Scott Dunaway, Bob Anderson. And then how about 19-year-old Tyler Henze? I do know that he did already play Jordan Meyer earlier and uh, did get beat 9-3. to But the fact that a 19-year-old is in the CSE Challenger Series, youngest to do so, bud. Well, yeah, I think he was probably experiencing a little nerves, too. Speaking of, I mean, he's, he knows what his dad's done here, so he's got the name behind him, but I knew he had some pressure behind him, you know, being involved, getting in the mix at, at so young. But, yeah, kudos to him being here. Maybe he'll turn the tide and, and get a win underneath his belt this next round. We'll see. But, hey, underneath this, Sugar Shane Johnson taking on Nick Selepic. Uh, That's a good match. That's a good yeah. match. We'll see how, how it comes out. John Edwards, Rick Henze, there's our two-time finalist for the CSC Challenger Series. Uh, almost got the double dip last time on Leonard Gates. He's going to try and just take that one step forward this season. Uh, Kyle Lidicky and Scuba Steve down there below that. Another great battle early on in the CSC Challenger Series. Uh, Matt Perdon and Mike Carter. How about that? Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Mike Carter out of the Arizona area. I do not know much about uh, much about Matt, but uh, yeah, we'll see how that one turns out. I know Mike's capable of doing some some really good things, some good averages, some good NPRs. Uh, going further as uh, well, it looks like getting underway here. Never mind, oh. Mike Maloney starting off with a big. What is that? Boom goes the dynamite right out the gate. First, first three darts of the CSC Challenger Series this season is a nine mark from Mike Maloney. Followed by a seven mark from Donald Spencer. Well, we're off to the races already, and so is Will's phone. She's just <laughs> chucking the trash right now in the background. But, hey, we want to thank uh, Mike Maloney for providing us this view. We actually had a camera with a little malfunction. If it wasn't for him providing a cell phone angle, we wouldn't have this tonight. So kudos to him as we go on forth with this match. This will be the view from uh, – where, where's he out of? Well, What's the bar name? He, li he lives in Plainfield, Illinois. I do not know the name of the location. The Cantina. Cantina. Okay. Okay. And Nick hollered at us in the background and let us know. So uh, he actually uh, whispered so that no one else would hear except for us, and uh, you just blew it. <laughs> 
whoopsie, whoopsie. Well, it's a dead giveaway when both of us say, what, where's that from? You go, oh, I don't know. And then somebody in the background says, oh, yeah, here you go. Put well, it on a silver actually, plate for you. They can't hear me usually, so I was trying to be a little subtle with it. But, uh, yeah, Asiago, Illinois, I believe. How about a white horse there from Mike Maloney? Nine mark number two of the leg to get us going. And I just reminded myself that I'm writing down some stats this evening, at least to start off with. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, well, we usually make it to about leg number two before that uh, unfortunately has a hiccup here or there. But that's on both our cords, not uh, just you or I. So here we go. Off to the 15s he goes. Looking for just a fat number. That's not going to hurt. As he goes ahead and closes it out, going to go on to the Bulls. Don? Uh, I don't know much about Don. I believe I've streamed him once at a live event before. I know I have. I just can't remember where. He's a yeah, good Cherry shot. Bomb. Cherry Bomb. Okay, there we go. There we go. Cherry Bomb. I appreciate you, Nick. That was where it was. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's a good shot. He's just going to have to pick up the pace here, I think, a little bit, knowing he's playing Mike. Yeah, it's early in this. He's averaging a 5.01 NPR. Uh, coming into the CSC Challenger Series. He is in seventh place overall in the averages. Uh, that means that there are seven people total with above a 5.0 NPR in the CSC Challenger Series. But uh, this is his first CSC Challenger Series, so this could could take some getting used to here and getting started first time on stream as Mike Maloney takes out leg number one. How about a 5.37 to get us started? Yeah, great start to the evening. Great start to our CSC Challenger Series, folks. We want to welcome you joining us at home, whether it be on our Facebook channels or our YouTube channels. Give us that like. Give us that follow. Share to your friends. Let them know we're live here for some amazing coverage this season with some fantastic players. And look at that. Nine mark for Donald Spencer. Yeah, his first of the CSC Challenger Series, and he starts off the exact same way as Mike Maloney did last leg. Uh, so that must be easy to do, you know? Yeah, certainly. Well, here we go. We see the angle, the, uh, Horizon Razor flip phone angle from, uh, Mike Maloney here. <laughs> uh, sponsored by T-Mobile. <laughs> yeah, why not? I told him I was going to give a couple haymakers, verbal haymakers to Mike tonight. So we'll go ahead and start the, uh, bashing there. All good, good fun. Dom, you have the best autographed jersey of all time, buddy. If you can even read whatever that says. Uh, <laughs> I know I couldn't, and I actually wrote it. <laughs> he wore it during All-Star Triples, actually, this oh, Saturday. That's amazing. Oh, oh, we're getting in the chat. Rick Hensley lost tonight. What? That's what we're just getting from Keegan Van, uh, Van Campen, uh, who oh. is... Let us know he lost. So that would have been that would have been to John uh, Edwards. Hey, John Edwards. I told you. I told you last season yep. at the very beginning. I said John Edwards was my pick to do damage last season, and uh, unfortunately fell out after a couple rounds. But hey, John Edwards oh. is the real deal. He is a great shot. Well, speaking of great shots, we had another nine mark there from Mike Maloney. He has three total heading into this. What a shocker in round number one. Both the Henzies are in the loser side of the bracket. Donald Spencer, a six mark to get back the lead. Almost 100 points now. Uh, throwing a 5.4, but Maloney just staying right there. Oh, dropping it down. And uh, wow, guys. We are excited to have our partnership back with A to Z Darts. And for the month of February, A to Z Darts has chosen the fe to feature the Red Horizon Barrel from Her Harrow's. Experience the precise vertical milling combined with a variety of ring cuts for yourself. Also, don't forget your free gift with purchase. Click on the free gift option to receive six sets of Harrow's Velos flights. You can also browse the rest of the recent Harrow's 2023 launch just click the banner on the homepage over at a-zdarts.com. And Will, with that partnership comes a, comes a giveaway, correct? Yes, it does, sir. It does come with a giveaway. So uh, make sure you like and comment this evening. We'll make sure to uh, pick a winner at the end of the night, whether it be on our uh, YouTube or, or, sorry, on our USA Darts or PPD pages. 
We'll pick a winner at the end of the evening. How about an eight mark there from Mike? Wow. Talk about timing. Well, there was also a strategy error from Donald there. Third dart, he was only up by 30 points going for that 15, and he got punished for it there. And Maloney's the type where you don't want to have those really tight leads. You want to have a nice, big point differential. Mike's going right at the win. Well, that's second dart. Oh, boy. Opens up the door here for Donald Spencer. Winning darts in his hands. Just you need two single bowls to get a look at it. There's one. Oh, he misses the look. Oh, brutal. And Mike Maloney, it looks like he might get away with one there. Yes, he does. Five, six, five is getting away with it, by the way. Yeah, five, six, five. Incredible average is picking up the pace from his five three seven the last time or last leg. Absolutely, guys. We cannot tell you how much we appreciate everyone tuning in with us tonight. Uh, it's great to see all the support. Uh, let us know where you're tuned in from. Who do you have in this one? Uh, you guys have been great to us so far. I uh, can't tell you how much we appreciate it. Jennifer, how's it going? Good to see you, Jeff Paulson. Um, Hey, how about that? Yeah. A, big, a big nine mark opener from Donald. That's start off this leg. Every single leg is start off with a 180. Isn't just, that insane? Just three in the bed on the 20s, each each leg. That's how it's starting. Well, it's insane. We, when, we, when we started the CSC Challenger Series back in season one, is what we'll call it for us, yep. uh, you know, the talent was there. We saw what, what the capabilities and what the possibilities were, but we're really starting to see – Players get used to the format, and, and and I'm telling you, at the end of the night, what kind of averages are we going to see in this season? It's just been creeping up and creeping up every season we go. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been really really cool to see kind of the format take over, and and become a little bit more of the norm that we see. Uh, it's just so it's a great format it just gives a chance for huge comebacks it gives the chance for big swings and uh that player advantage rule always a chance to keep it closer than maybe it it otherwise would be you got cut and shoot texas how about that and good old rockford illinois rooting for maloney brian henry in there saying mike gets it done so there's motor city darts in the chat and how about Mike Maloney? Big nine mark. Boom goes the dynamite. Mike Maloney. Just so far. Coming out big on his averages early on in the leg. They've dipped down into the fives, but if you're dipping down into the fives, that's probably okay, right? I mean, yeah, it's 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 probably okay. I'd consider that to be all right. Every once in a while. Look at this. Hey, right back to work. Big seven mark there for Mike. I got to be honest, though. We need to quit quit uh, pumping up the ego of, of Mike Maloney. It's already big enough, folks. Come on now. Come on. Well, listen, he's been shooting so well, he hasn't even had to shoot at a double yet. Yeah, well, it's going to happen here eventually. It's just a matter of when and how many and if it pays off for him or not. Ooh, only a five mark. Uh, only a five mark. Uh, here we go again. Guys, tonight's raffle winner will receive a set of Harrow's Red Horizon darts. Uh, in order to enter that, all you have to do is leave a comment in our chat, hit that like button, tell us where you're tuning in from, tell us who you have. Uh, we have Sioux Falls in the chat, uh, and then Matt Purden, which, by the way, that's how it's pronounced. Way to go, Will. I'm messing it up again. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let you know, Matt. I'm probably gonna mess it up five more times. So just expect <laughs> it, my man. Just expect it. It's known to happen. It will happen again. Uh, yeah, last names are just. I'm known to mess those up. Is it Mahoney? <laughs> last names, <laughs> first names. Oh, it's Mahomey from the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes. I love it. I love it. I had to mention well, that one. How about a five eight seven from Mike Maloney? And uh, he's up three nothing. 
And he just keeps picking up his average. 5-3-7, 5-6-5, 5-8-7. Yep, man. It's getting better. That's scary. So an interesting thing Mike Maloney said when we were talking uh, before uh, or after our interview, uh, we were talking about how he said Donald Spencer, he feels like is one of the harder first on draws he could have possibly gotten. And that he knows that this is going to be one of the harder weeks for him to get through getting back on the ground, running, going right for it. And then uh, he's going against a tough opponent right now. The score lines in Mike's favor, but he's very aware that Donald Spencer is kind of like an unknown variable in this well there you go and speaking of unknown variables boom goes the dynamite there for donald spencer a white horse that's his third nine mark on the evening Ooh. throwing an 8.0 that that's not too shabby maloney's thrown three darts and uh he's four wedges down well s- something to be yeah, you know, unmentionable here is Mike. Mike hasn't been in the CSC in how many seasons now? Is this? He is took a two? year off. This, he, the, season two. So he missed season two and season three then. Okay, yep. so he so he actually took two sessions off, and now this is he's he's kind of regaining the tracks here. So it'll be interesting. Well, boom goes the dynamite, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting. He's off to the races here, but does he have a hiccup? But does he, and down the road? I mean, that's always a possibility when you're talking about, I mean, long format matches. I know that he's a very active player lately. He has been doing a lot of live streams on his own page. Well, Man, how, how about a six two five there from Donald Spencer? And I think that's what Maloney was talking about when he says, "I'm." It's a bit of an unknown here with uh, with Donald is that he can throw those types of averages. And Maloney didn't throw any worse than he had all night long up to this point. I mean, it's .04 worse than the first leg, but um, the consistency is what he has talked about being back. So I think that that's the old Mike Maloney. You might see a dip. I think this new Mike Maloney is going to stay consistently right around that 5-5 mark, 5-4 mark. I think it's right to, you know, who knows he's going to be getting Donald Spencer. I mean, he may not have ever played Donald. And there's maybe a handful of players he's never heard of in this CSC Challenger Series. So it'll be interesting to see how he plays against those players. But if he keeps doing that, he's going to be just fine. Just yeah, fine. he's going to be just okay. They are lighting the Dynamite Sticks early and often. That's the ninth one so far. And Donald's going to try and match it right here. Boom goes the Dynamite there for Donald Spencer. Back to back nines for these two players. They are heating up. Well, but we're already at we're in leg number five. We're at ten nine marks already. Oh. So averaging two per leg currently. That's uh that's on pace for for some for some hefty hefty stuff, my man. Yeah, you're telling that. You're telling me that, bud. How What's about our- What's our uh, nine mark average or nine mark record right now? Do we know? Thirty six. That's what I was thinking. We're av- we're on pace for our uh, nine mark average if this goes the distance, technically. Oh. And steel tip, that was a sixty six, which at the end of the day it would work out just fine if that last starts the trip twenty like that one. Hey, how about pops in the chat from Goddard Candace, aka home of the twenty year old mayor. Yeah, go look up that one if you if you want some entertainment, folks. Because that was uh, I was surprised you mentioned that one to me when we hopped on this evening. I was like, how do you know about that? Oh, that's national news, man. Well, <laughs> surprise, I am, surprise. I am well read. Um, speaking of well read, Mike Smash Maloney is from Plainfield, Illinois. Uh, how about happy 39th birthday yesterday? So happy belated birthday there! Uh, shout out to his wife Becky and the boys Mason and Finley. Um, and congrats on the new baby that is due in March. So he's playing for a little bit more money wise than, than just maybe going to buy a new boat or something. There's that double. How about that? Well, happy, Uh, happy 49th birthday, Mike Maloney. Uh, he actually is, is is his 39th. Like you would think that'd be a joking, uh, type of birthday saying but that one actually was true um but he's sponsored by next gen smash barrels is uh is his barrel x1 elite in the dart zone so congrats uh on that 
all that, buddy. He is well known on Facebook, and uh, he backs it up with some great darts too from time to time. Jordan Meyer saying, uh, I hope Maloney gets a cramp and can't throw anymore. Hey, Jordan, you just do your thing like you did this evening, and I think you're going to be quite okay in the CSC Challenger Series. Jordan, one of those players who makes it about midway and then unfortunately has a has a hiccup or two along the way, but hey, I'm looking for him to do some big things here as Mike Maloney throws in a big 5.38 in this yeah. one. I'm telling you, look at that consistency again, just right there around that 5.4 mark. Um, he hasn't dropped anywhere away from that, uh, except for the 5.87. Um, so consistency well, seems to be the key early. The Katina tuning in right now. The bar where Michael is hanging out at. We'd love to see that. Yeah, we appreciate you uh, allowing him in, in that place. I'm Sure, that was not easy to make that decision, um, but we appreciate it. So I want to give a mentionable here because do you remember the last time we saw Mike Maloney on the CSC Challenger Series at all? Do you do you remember seeing his um, his throw? Do you remember that at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. The so little, the little hitchy hitch. Well, look at it now. It's definitely has uh, changed quite a bit. Yep. He is he is pretty much like a rock on that back foot until that third dart when it kind of comes up and he lunges towards the board. But it used to be every dart he was giving it a giving it a good heave toward that board. Now it's changed. It's it's a yeah. uh, more consistent Mike Maloney. And uh, as someone who has gone through dartitis, uh, I can tell you just how much work uh, he has had to put into that to get back to this level, um, to get back to this format. I know uh, there were times where I was uh, just loathing playing darts, I've, and I've never been good. It just, I, it's such a frustrating uh, situation. You have to completely break down your throw and build it completely back up. Uh, so for him to get to the point where he's uh, back comfortable doing that, it's pretty awesome. And uh, Donald Spencer hits the bull on dart three, setting well, up a, a mat or a game-winning dart. I just want to say, unfortunately, uh -oh. you can only be good at one thing, Sean. Boom goes the dynamite. Mike Maloney's is hitting nine marks, and yours is good commentary skills where they lacked a good dart game and a uh, good hairline as well because it's a little bit receding. <laughs> well, listen, uh, I always have a little bit of a makeover every CSE Challenger Series. Uh, this this CSE uh makeover i lost three pounds um feeling pretty proud about that actually um yep you can see it in the face uh, and also in the hairline so there you go oh well hey i love you no matter what bud happy to have you back <laughs> they said wear a hoodie and a hat on on cam tonight <laughs> hey i had to rock my emmy's wish hat up there in wisconsin i'm sure uh a lot of you know Emmy's uh -oh. wish. So uh oh. Woo. We're allowed to say it right now. That's why you don't shoot doubles in cricket, Mike. And uh, he knows he knows you're saying it right now because he just tossed as, up that dart. Yep. Yeah, as he should know that. And actually we've talked about that. Uh he hates when people say uh there's no doubles in cricket, blah blah blah. Um he thinks of it as a statistical advantage um for him to shoot at it. So but when he goes outside, I'm allowed to say that was a stupid dart because he when knows he, that's a stupid dart to go outside. When it goes outside, yes, that's why you got to strategically place that either on the inside wire of the double uh -oh. or just in. Sixteen. Uh, oh, big turnaround in the leg right there with an eight mark from Donald Spencer. Well, you saw Mike throw his hands up too yep. in acknowledgement. He knew that was a massive turning point here in oh, this boy. in this match. Oh, oh my boy. goodness, fifteen. My word. Smash. Wow. 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 6.25 going double bull, double bull, trip 15 for the win. It's a 5 1 lead for Hulk. Smash. Mike Maloney. Um, I mean,. I'm not Donald Spencer, right? I'm not Junior. 
Uh, but if I were junior, I'd be uh, wondering what the heck just happened because I just hit the perfect eight mark to change the momentum, um, and then some jerk uh, decides to go double, 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 trip 15, and then open up the next leg with three in the bed on the 19s. Boom goes the dynamite Mike Maloney. Uh, um, that is so tough if you're Donald Spencer because he had a – not a leg changer, but a match changing dart there. And then Mike Maloney slams the door shut to potentially go up maybe six one, if not five two going into our break. And you want to talk about someone who loves that moment, right? Mike called for him to switch to the 16s. He hits it and he gives like a little fist bump, like congratulations to Donald for that shot. And then just, uh, I don't know, uh, ruins his life. And he is not missing the 19s, buddy. Going up to the 20s, boom, goes the dynamite again in this leg. He's throwing an 8.33. And uh, I don't think he's walking as much as he's floating uh, back to the table back there. He might be walking on water at this point. I may be questioning if he may be a, a godly figure because he is throwing lights out right now. Fellas, fellas, let's just remember, last time we had Maloney on a stream, he had a 6-1 uh, don't lead. Why we bring that to the break. How about that from Mike? Back-to-back -back nines. He raises the average from an 8.33 to an 8.5. Mike Maloney. This, this is, is absolute baloney that he is throwing right now. <laughs> You're welcome. I had to do it once. <laughs> my, my, my baloney. I had to. Sorry. Outside the strip 16, back to uh, the 19th for points. A two mark? Ugh. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I mean, we're looking at, this is our seventh leg here, folks, and it doesn't look yeah. like we're going to see a leg dip into the fours before our break. No, Mike has not dipped into the fours at all. In fact, his lowest game is a 5.33. And he is throwing better now. And 16 gets the double 16. Says, just you shut your mouth, Sean. Uh, there are doubles in cricket when he shoots them. Oh, my goodness. Look at Donald Spencer not giving up in the leg. Hits the nine. On the 15s, not enough though. It, it's how it's, about that? He's throwing a five eight six going first, and it's just not enough to go nine mark on the 15s. And this is the thing we can't sit here and nitpick Donald's strategy yet because it's just Mike playing a one step to two steps better than Donald so far. I mean, Donald's putting up a, some great marks, he's he's only had one or two legs where he maybe didn't give it the full uh full ability, but man, I mean. Mike's just here, here and throwing with authority. Well, no, he's at the cantina, um, but he is throwing with a lot of authority. <laughs> Except for that two mark there. Well, big uh, shout out to Abraham Amusements slash Excel Entertainment, which is Mike Maloney's uh, vendor. We also want to give a shout out to West Coast Darters of Florida for Donald Spencer. So yeah. big shout out to them. Donald from Lakeland, Florida. Uh, he's been playing for 18 years. Uh, shout out to his sponsor, Franchise Darts, as Mike Maloney takes that one out. A 6.23, that leg, that was uh, in the 8.5s after, like, round four. Um, I mean, you know, just just whatever. Um, uh, Mike Maloney is letting everybody know early and often what uh, what you're going to get when you play him right now, and it's 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 Hulk mode. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, we'll continue. We will have to wait and see as we head into our break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, folks. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Mike Maloney. Uh, I will be playing out of the cantina in Oswego, Illinois, uh, playing for Excel slash Abraham Amusement. Well, the one and only, it's Mike Maloney, everybody. We're excited to be back with the CSC Season 4. And it's been a long time since we've had you on the show, Mike. How have you been? 
Good, real good. Well, uh, last time we saw you, it's been uh, a little over a year since your last match in the CSC, uh, which was a great match, all things considered. Uh, but what do you think we'll see different in your dark game from back then till now? The consistency, maybe. <laughs> uh, I started out real good, and I was still, you know, I just came back specifically because we got that invite for the canceled uh, COVID event. And it was you know, a little over two years, and I came back, and I had to, not only kind of relearn how to throw, but uh, relearn how to how much I can drink or how much I can tolerate. So that break, that break didn't do me any good, and uh, I, I don't like to make that mistake again. So, and knowing that you have the third highest average in this event at a five point four NPR, do you feel like you're kind of one of the favorites this go around? Um, I think Gates is always going to be the favorite. Um, I do think that. Um, I'm at least in the top three behind him and obviously the, the runner up for two years in a row in, in Rick Hensley. But you have plenty of players who are capable. I'm just hoping that the format's long enough for me to kick into gear uh, and, and capitalize. Well, let's focus on tonight's match. Donald Spencer is also averaging above a five as well. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think it'll take for you to come out on top? I think as long as I continue where I'm playing, uh, the level of play I have and the, the consistency. Um, not saying that he can't come out. Uh, I, I know all too well how many people like to capitalize on me, but um, I think if I just continue my game where it's at, it's going to be it's going to be a tough task to to take nine legs from me. Let's say it's the finals. You came out on top. What would you use the prize money for? Well, we have a baby coming March seventeenth again. So if it's a girl, we're gonna you guys are gonna need to bump the prize money up. I think I'm gonna need a little more. Um, but either way, you know, we've, we had to buy new furniture and a new bedroom set and, and obviously everything that comes along with that. So uh, medical bills keep stacking up, too. So probably probably just go to stay on top. You know, with all the people talking about you for your birthday wishes, what do you want to say to your friends, fans, family, anybody that's going to be watching along this evening? Uh, as always, I appreciate the everybody backing me up and, and congratulating me and, and, you know, stuff like that. So now following my new my new page, I have to make or I had to make to uh, keep my stats and, and dark posts off of my, my family Facebook. <laughs> so, um, no, I, like I said, I always appreciate everybody in my corner. It's fun. Well, Hulk Smash is taking on Donald Spencer this evening in the CSC. We're super excited to have you back on the show. It's long overdue, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck. I'm Mike Maloney, and you're watching the CSC. I'm Donald Spencer. I'm playing out of Bruins and Lakelands, and I'm playing for West Coast Starters of Florida. Well, Donald Spencer, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the CSE Challenger Series for our first match of Season 4 and your debut to this event. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. Doing well. Super excited to have you here. Uh, so for those who are seeing you for the first time, uh, can you give us a little bit of background on how long you've been playing darts and kind of what got you into the game of uh, darts? Well, I've been playing darts for around uh, 18 years. I started when I was actually 18. I uh, took some time off when, you know, I had a family and stuff like that, about 10 years. I uh, really got back into it when COVID hit and kind of just been playing from there. And then tonight, you're going to be on our live feed for the CSC. Uh, have you ever been on a live uh, feed for darts before? And if so, how was that for you? Uh, I have been. I've been on live stream uh, in Cherry Bomb and at Bull Shooter. And uh, when I played at Bullshit, I played Kenny Doyle on the pro side, and he kind of whooped up on me a little bit there. So, <laughs> yeah, but it was well, fun. 
Well, that is a tough uh, uh, name that we're very familiar with here at the CSC. Yeah. Uh, but another name we're familiar with, Mike Maloney, is your opponent this evening. And that's a heavy hitter in this event. But so are you. Uh, what's going to be your strategy and kind of like your key to success tonight? Uh, my strategy is just to like play aggressive but smart, uh, take calculated risks, um, try not to throw any uh, stupid darts per se. Oh, phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. And then Maloney's a big proponent of uh, shooting doubles in cricket. Now, can you tell us if you agree or disagree with the stance? If you hit him, I agree. If you miss, I disagree. <laughs> uh, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. And then let's say, you know, we fast forward 10 weeks from now, it's in the finals and you end up winning. What would you use that prize money for? Uh, I'd use it to fund further dart ventures, more traveling, stuff like that. Okay, and then for people watching tonight, your friends, fans, family, is there anything you want to say to them? I just want to thank everybody for having my back, for being there for me, and for egging me on. Like, I appreciate it. Well, we are looking forward to seeing what you bring to the table, Junior, as you are going against Mike Maloney facing Donald Spencer. We're excited to see it on the live feed, and we wish you nothing but the best of luck. I'm Donald Spencer, and you're watching this CSC Challenge Series. All righty, here we are back once again. Mike Maloney, Donald Spencer, Sean Green, Will Stewart here. Man, what a match we've seen so far. Yeah, Mike Maloney is uh, throwing some crazy darts. He has not dipped below a 5.33 has been his lowest uh, leg total. That was the one leg he lost, but that was to a 6.25 from Donald. Otherwise. Um, five, three, seven, five, five, six, five, eight, seven, five, three, three, five, three, eight, six, two, five, and then a six, two, three. So his last two legs have been his best. Um, wow. He is on fire. Just doing some quick math. It's a 5.72 average overall, Sean, currently. And that's, uh, gonna almost touch Leonard Gates. Who's at a 5.75 going into this CSC, but I think that's all. Pretty much the identical average to uh, to Gates' average that won the CSC last year, so or last season. Well, boom goes the dynamite right out the gate for Donald Spencer. Uh, how about a boom goes the Floridian uh, for Donald? Starts off nine mark on the twenties again. That is the fourth time we have seen that in eight legs. That is insanity. I don't think we've ever had that many nine mark openers and we're about to, I was thinking maybe we're going to see another nine mark there, but he's going to go at the 19s, just collects two of those. That's quite all right. Well, while we have a split second, do you want to know how to become eligible to play in major PPD events like the CSC Challenger Series? Would love to hear it. Players become eligible for those by playing in PPD leagues and daily remote tournaments or DRTs. Leagues are starting daily. Get involved by going to dartstoc.com and checking out the map. The map will show any location with G3 boards within the PPD system. They are always accepting new members, so if you're not seeing anything in your area, have your vendor contact them on the website. From there, players can sign up for leagues on the website. It doesn't take a ridiculous amount of games to be, kill, to be eligible either. Consistently playing one league a week will keep a player eligible for this event in the future. Again, go to dartstoc.com to get signed up today. Donald Spencer doing what he has to, just closing out the 16s, moving right along, throwing a 6.0 in this leg so far. Mike looking to... Get right back to the numbers he's used to into the fives once again with the nine mark on the 15s. Yeah, in Fuego himself, boom goes the dynamite Mike Maloney. And now Donald's going to have to do some closing work here. And unable to do so. Hey, shout out to Damian Loft in the chat saying su layout super clean this season. Uh, that is all thanks to Nick Darachi, Deshera, uh, for that one. Ryan Sofa saying great dart so far. Makes me want to get good again. Uh, the Sofa King of Wisconsin, trying to get good again. I love it. <laughs> hey, don't forget, folks, we got a giveaway today. 
So here goes Red Horizon Darts from A to Z Darts.com. Make sure you like and comment. Get into the mix on that one. Don't want to miss that out your opportunity for a free set of darts, do you? Oh, uh, never. You never want to miss your opportunity for a free set of darts. <laughs> never, never, never. How about uh, Jay, Jay Fouché saying Brian Dennis over Jesse Gore? So there you go. Floridian v. Floridian. And Brian Dennis takes him down 9-7. to seven. And that had to be an in-person thing, I'm sure. Uh, which would have been made that quite a bit more of a battle, don't you think? Oh, yeah. That's that's when it's in person, and especially the excitement that uh, Jesse brings, because that thing can get hypey every once in a while. We saw it in a, in a previous match in the CSC as he was giving some fist pumps, some uh, some definitely eat loud chirps to the people at the Skybox. Oh, there you go. You know, that's where I met Nick Teixeira. Oh, double. How about that from Mike Maloney? Woo! He is hanging around, hanging around. Alligator <laughs> blood, this one. I don't know what that was, but all right, we'll rock and roll with it. Uh, you're just not cool enough. It's all good. Donald Spencer coming back with a seven mark just to stiff arm a little bit. Ryan Solomon asking how many CSE divisions are there? There are two. On Mondays is Division One, and on Tuesdays, is division or on Wednesdays is division two. Uh, whoop, Tuesdays are the siege, uh, to the point streaming, but uh, yeah, Wednesdays division two. And uh, Donald Spencer back on the board. Mike Maloney has been in this position before at the CSC Chowder series, but I don't want to mention that. And his lowest round of to date a 5.22. Yeah, so that that's that's the thing here is still averaging in the fives. So even with that L there, but six two scoreline here, Mike needs three. This is a race to nine cricket battle for those that are have have yet to join us in our in our three previous seasons, which is hard to believe, but there are still some newbies out there. As uh, we see a seven mark opener from Donald. Uh, Jeff Hartman asks, hey, what's the opening match of the season's record for nine marks? Well, Jeff, since we started keeping that stat, it will be whatever tonight's total is. <laughs> I, I was going to have to, I was literally typing out the same thing. This is the most nine marks I think I've seen in a first week match. Well, there you go. It's because uh, the chat can choose the matchups uh, like they did for this one. Getting all them votes. Well, usually... We kind of see a, a hiccup or two at the start of the CSC Challenger Series. I mean, it's not always the, the best of averages right out the gate, but tonight we're seeing a doozy of a first match here, and I'm sure glad we picked this one. Yeah, and how about the only hiccup tonight being the board cam not really functioning, so Mike Maloney is Skyping with us uh, with his phone. If it dies, uh, we die. So um, we're looking for a last leg decider, but we're looking for a quick Quick run to that last leg to set, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're at the mercy of the cell phone, that Motorola Razor. Hey, how about defending CSC Division II champ Aaron Ham playing his Division II match today and winning 9-4? to four. So he is off and running again this CSC Chowder Series. And uh, how about former Division II champ Dan Levine in there saying, glad these are streaming again, always entertaining to watch while at work. Hopefully at some point I will get back to remote leagues and be these again. Well, we hope so too, Dan. We loved Woodchucks, the bathroom fiasco. Got to love that streaming board. Yes, that's the truth, don't you? That's the truth. Hey, we Mike know Maloney. how to put our cameras in the PPD. Mike we picked Maloney. the best locations. He lit the fuse, and boom goes the dynamite. Number 18 between these two players. Donald Spinner, huh, he closed the 17s first. That's an interesting move. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, that's – he's trying to put the pressure on here. Yeah, he's throwing a little bit aggressive. Uh, he's trying, trying to make himself throw perfect, which is not working out too well because Mike is throwing perfectly. Mike's – wow. Yeah, Mike's at that point in the evening where you need to grab a number and hold on to it. And I think maybe Donald should have attacked a, a number and tried to put his foot in the ground there, possibly turn the shit. But uh, Mike's just playing too well right now. 
Hey, the beautiful Miss Olivia Terry in the chat. Yeah. Know it's February. I don't know why. Yeah. Well, Black History Month. That's why. Oh, well, yeah. My How about girl. that? Mike My Maloney, girl. a 6.19. Uh, that leg, it's almost like uh, the Hulk turned green, and uh, he smashed smashed that one. Well, I'm sure some of his other opponents may be hoping he turns green in a different way. Maybe hoping he's he's found a sick moment or two when they come up because he is throwing some good stuff tonight. I don't know if I'd want to play him. No, he's throwing fantastic right now, and Donald Spencer. Stepping up here, uh, Lakeland, Florida. Did this you see rookie season of the season counter series? Did you see Mike try to trip that lady as she walked by? Oh, here we go. Let's let's create the <laughs> the storyline now. Mike Maloney tripping waitresses. Stuck his foot out there. What a, what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he not, oh, he's seven marks. The dark gods didn't let him shoot a nine mark there. See. Trip 20. The attack on the 19th is just stay right there. He chose to attack. Uh, that's, yeah. This has been the move. This has been the move that's been haunting him so far. He has not hit those numbers what? when two when taking the chances. Two big triples, and he's going to take a look here and get it. Oh, no. He's he stayed down there. And uh, Mike Maloney, 19, nine marks between the two of them, an 8.0 early in this leg. He's just. Just like our season format, he's in fuego, that's for sure. That means on fire. I was literally about to say <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> How about this from Mike? It's, does he take a look? No, he's nope. still staying down there. I think if he would have hit a triple with that second dart, he would have probably taken his opportunity there. But Look, right now, I'm telling you, He's doing the right thing. He's trying to extend the match, extend the leg, because he knows average-wise, um, right now, he's winning. So the longer this goes, the better chance he has to win the leg. Oh, certainly so. I mean, he's throwing amazing stuff. You can't say it no. enough. No, he stayed good. at the triple. You got to stay at the triple on that one. Uh, Miss Olivia, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Will's bringing me down a little bit, but I'm trying my best. Hey. I'm the best backpack around, buddy. Nah, you're not a backpack. More like a satchel. Hey, whatever. Fanny pack, I'll take it. I'll hang on for dear life. Uh, did you see uh, Mason Saucer in the chat earlier? Watch yeah, I did. YouTube. I did see that. Big stuff. He's able to close out the 18s as well as pad some more points. Mike Maloney. Looking for his way into the second round. John Edwards in the chat. Congratulations on your first round upset, sir. That's a that's a big opening night. Defeating Rick Henze earlier today. And Mike Maloney is just... My goodness! Boom goes the dynamite again for Mike. I think he's got 12 or 13 of those nine marks. This is leg number 10. Seven mark, just not enough, which is insane. Mike, Give, given the 31 in the people in this bracket, uh, Donald Spencer on tonight, if he was going against oh. almost anybody else, oh my God. would be doing phenomenal. But right now, Mike Maloney just yeah, playing more on there, legendary Mike. levels. That's, uh, that's only eight. But big dart there from Mike Maloney. I didn't even see what he shot that leg, but it was ridiculous. Nope, 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 nope. Don't do it, Mike. Don't do it, Mike. Start the game. Start the game. Start the game. Start the game. You get one more. It's a race to nine, not a race to eight. Uh oh, this could be the difference right here. I, I think that was like a six point five something. Did anyone see that? It was a six point eight six, buddy. Close. And he won it. And he won it on a trip sixteen yep. single bull. Double bull, my goodness, folks. Like, this is just a performance we are seeing this evening from Smash. Look, Mike Maloney. 
he he had a slow start. Okay, he went five three seven five five six five eight seven five three three five three eight. Then we forgave him because that was terrible. But from then, his last five legs, a 6.25, a 6.23, a uh, stinker of a leg at a 5.22, then a 6.19, a 6.86. Is, wow. And you know the number that I – mean, all these numbers, I mean, he's been hitting everything on the board, but that trip 19 has been his beauty this evening, just really attacking that well. But look at that nine mark from Donald Spencer. Boom. Man. The dynamite. He's he's trying to throw Mike against the wall, put him in a corner, but Mike, you don't like no corner. How about a nine mark right back? Back to back nines between these two players. That's the second time we've seen that. 22 nines. Uh, Donald Spencer, win or go home mode. Uh, he does get a few legs in a row going first if he can start making a run here. But Mike Maloney just is throwing like real Hulk numbers right now. I mentioned it earlier too. It's not like Donald's, you know, putting in a bad effort or, or we're having a, a bad day at the office. He's, he's doing his, he's doing his work. He, he's doing well as well, but it's just not enough to beat Mike at this current time. I mean, did you just hope for Mike's arm to fall off at this point? Uh, his arm needs to fall off or it needs to start picking up some beverages. Other than that, it's probably probably not a not a whole lot else that can happen except for maybe some some wiring on the wedges here. <laughs> Scuba Steve saying, some Maloney's around a 4.1 for the night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike might come in with the best average for the for this opening week based on what he's throwing right now. That's going to be tough to beat. Just the point lead. Takes a there. Yep, yep, and stays there. He knows points are all that matters right now. Donald's going to take two trips and then look. He's got to stay now. And hit. He's not going to... Uh-oh. Here comes the swinger again. <laughs> That sounded wrong. Here comes the swing. <laughs> the turntable's turning. Mike Maloney took the first start at points. He's staying on points. And closes the 20s anyway. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's... Forces Donald to be perfect. See what Junior does. That was a good stra strategy move there from Mike, but will it pay off? It looks like it's going to, as he's going to get the opportunity when he returns. Yeah, Mike Maloney now in the driver's seat here. He won't have a look at the match, but he's just going to hang on to these 15s here, point it up. Oh, Ooh. and he hit it. Big dart. Oh. You knew okay. he was going for it, right? Yeah, I was maybe I was thinking, eh, maybe he was hoping for a triple there before he switched, but I think that's the, that's the yeah. smart decision to do. And now he asked Mike Maloney, three bowls will win the match. Otherwise, Donald Spencer's going to need to get three of his own. Well, that'll help. My take a foul. A 5.87. Terrible last leg from Mike Maloney. Um, that's obviously being facetious. How about a 9-2 to two victory over the seventh best average coming into the CSC Challenger Series? Mike Maloney. Uh, wow. Oh, wow. Do I got some numbers for you, Sean? Well, first of all, this match was under an hour long. Uh, yeah, that's that is insane. And I think that's uh, that's yeah, that's got, that's one of the fastest matches we've had, if not the fastest we've had on the stream so far. And for you that are wondering at home, I got the number for you because I just did the math real quick on his average for tonight. Yeah, it's got to be around a six. Um, not quite six, but it's up there. I said six. around a six. Not quite six. Did anyone else give me a six? Jeez, what is this? <laughs> a 5.83 tonight average for Mike Maloney. That is just insane stuff. That's all legs combined, folks, as he never touched a single leg in the fours. Matter of fact, his lowest leg this evening, a 5.22 from Mike. Yep. His highest, 
a 6.86. Just insane stuff this evening from the one and only Smash, Mike uh, Maloney. Look, everyone else is on notice now. Yeah. Uh, that includes Leonard Gates, who has lost to him in the last month already with the same format. Um, that includes Rick Henzie's already in the loser side now. So Mike Maloney, I think if you look at the bracket, if we were to head over to the bracket, which might not be pulled up anymore, um, I see him as quite a clear favorite to make the the king seat match. Um, he's going to go through some tough players. Don't be wrong, but mm-hmm. he's got to be up there as... So oh, just a couple your favorite, a, right? A, a couple big names to mention. I mean, we got Johnny Lackey in there, Ram Prevere, Kevin Schmitz. Um, but can you Tyler can you Hensie, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan? Yeah, I, I mean that, that's that's what I'm saying. I don't think he he is definitely the eye popping favorite there uh, in the upper upper bracket. I mean, we've definitely got upper some big quartile, names. The upper quartile. Yeah, in the bottom half, we do have some big bigger names. I think. Um, not granted, every, everybody's a pretty good shot here, so. Upsets will happen. They're going to happen. But, yeah, I mean, ugh, that's a scary name. Yeah. Scary name. That's an eyeball in a king seat spot, potentially. So, kudos to Mike Maloney this evening, who just threw some remarkable stuff. Yeah, that's that might be one of the highest averages that we're going to see in the CSC Chandra Series this season. Um, and for him to come out on fire like that... Uh, Mike, thanks for thanks for sticking with our theme this season. Uh, the five five point eight two eight three five point eight three. Sorry, Mike. Um, that's going to be leading week one. I don't oh. I don't foresee that. Leonard might have a chance at it, but he's going to have to get pushed to that. Mike did it um, with just consistency and uh, sheer will when his opponent was shooting well early in the leg. Yeah, I, I agree with your push statement. Leonard's one of those guys that if he if he can take a couple slack darts, he's one of those guys that he'll just th- throw three fats to throw three fats and just settle on and move on. So, uh, yeah, he'll have to get pushed. I mean, no, no, no um, uh, hard remarks or disregards to Donald. He played well tonight. It was just Mike Mike throwing just a touch better. And by touch, I mean a, a, a pretty good margin better, uh, which wasn't a bad thing. It just speaks volumes to how he played tonight. Yeah, I think Donald's still going to be in the top half of the averages from – week one uh it just mike mike did mike things tonight um <laughs> maloney's back and he is uh he's he's trying to win himself a csc challenger series division one title that is clear by that opening round um well we're sponsored by a to z darts you know them quite well i'm sure you don't want to get fired by not reading this last ad read. <laughs> Well, I mean, good good pressure point there, buddy. Is I mean, this is the start of the CSE. You might as well do. Now it, you're so. on camera while you're doing it. So, <laughs> this so is I'll terrible. Do. You would do this to me too, exactly. So, like, hey. worst, worst case scenario. <laughs> Don't forget, A to Z Darts is featuring the Red Horizon range for the entire month of February. Receive a free flight pack including six sets of Harrow's Velps flights. Go get your set today at a to z darts.com. We'll just forget the last little part of that for you, bud. You're welcome. All righty, folks. What a fantastic opening match we had this evening here. Mike Maloney, Donald Spencer. More is yet to come. Join us. Nine to two. Hey, real quick. Division two match on Wednesday. You were going to leave without even hyping this bad boy up. I was going to. Uh, I was getting there. I was getting there. Right. We got Francisco Kicks Akala. Uh, from Arizona, I guess, I'm going to guess he's playing out of bull shooters, maybe. Uh, taking on Missourian uh, Terry Dalton, who is from your kind of neck of the woods, because Kansas and Missouri are the same place. Oh, my gosh. South 94, that is six hours away from me in St. Louis. Are you kidding me right now? St. Louis is touching the Illinois border. St. Louis oh. is trying to crawl he's, out of Missouri. He's playing, into he's playing out of I-94. Oh, That's okay. The, yeah, the place he's playing. Calm down. Oh, okay. Just calm okay. it down. <laughs> Whoa. I can't believe you said that well, statement. I well, touch the feely that. there. He wins the Super Bowl, and all of a sudden he's haughty toddy now. Mis- misery. Misery. I can't believe you. Hey, shout out to Mike Maloney for a great opening night display. Uh, he puts so much pressure on himself with how he um, – how he interacts with everybody. Uh, he wanted a lot of people here tonight to watch and uh, he delivered. So hats off to him. 
uh, that's that's a that's a great opening night, and Wednesday is going to be fantastic too. We get two brand new CSC Challenger Series participants, um, and I can't wait, man. It's going to be a great, 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 great night on Wednesday. Looking forward to it. Join us Wednesday night, eight thirty Central Time, right here on USA Darts and Partners Promoting Darts. Thanks for joining us this evening for a fantastic match. William Stewart here alongside me, Sean Green, Nick Deshera. Lay it on us, Sean. Guys, have a great night. See you on Wednesday.